Hello, dear friends. <laughs> After a little bit of a break, um, I thought I'd come on again. There's so many, 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 many things happening and so many questions that people have that sometimes it's really hard uh, to grab one topic. Uh, because everything is interrelated, obviously. And the answer to all the things is always um, initially for me to go inside. <laughs> and I remember when I started my journey of um, discovering, uncovering things, my um, deep dives, my going down the rabbit hole, I... I came across the sentence, go inside, the answers are all inside. And and I thought it was um, difficult for me to grasp what that meant. And at that stage, I was still too, too busy, too much in the ego mind, in the, in the rat race, in the um, trying to make the money to be able to pay my bills, etc., that I couldn't slow down enough or, yeah, be calm enough um, to go inside to the extent that is needed and um, often enough also to, to find answers. Although I have to say um, that I noticed at, at some stage that I had exhausted all the outside uh, realms to investigate and find things and find fault in the world also of course because when you go down the rabbit hole you find all the stuff that we call deception and illusions and uh, you know all the stuff that's there but finding all this finding out that we're you know living our own illusions according to our own belief systems etc and also being deceived smoke screens everywhere even if i know all this it doesn't mean that i will be a happy person so when you start out your journey or when i started out my journey it didn't lead me to to happiness contentment fulfillment so at some stage i needed to dive into other areas and i still remember in my my last job in an office that i um, had found a small little booklet really like this size and it was called the daily zen and for some reason i felt drawn to it and i i had it in my pocket and every lunch break i went outside there was a tiny area uh, close to to a river and i went out in 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 the warmer period of the of the year and i did read every day in that in that little booklet to just replenish my energies i had already started to walk to work for several kilometers so i walked nearly an hour to work which gave me a lot of energy for the first few hours and work then you know the the sitting and the very stressful work um led to me you know really waiting for my lunch break and to get out into fresh air you know with all the the many workplaces with like wi-fi and everything that was very very stressful on the body and so I went out for, I don't even know how long our break was, but I either walked in fresh air, no matter what the weather was, whether it was winter or summer, I didn't care. Or I sat down after a little walk and I did reading. And with that reading, I got an understanding of the, the little things in life that we should cherish. Um, that book actually always brought me back to awareness to mindfulness in my life and so this was my slow journey into a a discovery of literally the inner worlds the tools that I have for myself 
to to find happiness or levels of happiness that grew over time because I started to cultivate that. Very, very similar to, to working a garden. And so the first answer to everything could be from my side, go inside. And, and be, that's why I'm talking about this in a little bit of a longer way to tell you that I walk that path as well. And I don't want to just throw this this sentence out at you. You can read it at every corner <laughs> you look for information. But what I feel and what I see is that the, um, the amount of information, the amount of uh, data available for us to assess when we are online or offline, like in conversations with people on the phone or in person, we are looking for validation, we are looking for truth, and we always look for data. So our head is spinning. It's full of data. It's like this person says that, the other person says that. Yesterday we understood this is good. Today someone says, or more people say, or loads of people in my surrounding that I trusted was on the same page. They now say, oh no, that's not really good. This is a conspiracy. That's wrong, whatever, whatever, whatever. And we get so confused and we are losing the ground under our feet because we consistently listen to what others say. And there we are back to what I just said. The answers are within. Now, why do I say that in this context again? It's like when I am so confused by all this that I just mentioned, everybody shifting suddenly to another viewpoint. And I'm like, I don't know what to believe anymore. This is a sentence I hear so often. Then nothing else is left but just tuning into my own and thinking, feeling, what do I feel? Take one opinion. Something that you believed is good before you got confused with many other people's changing their mind or bringing in new data. Feel that. Feel is there. Um, yes, I feel comfortable. I still feel that despite everybody saying, go with it. Go with it. It's your life. Your experience. And the feelings that you discover within you belong to you and are connected to your soul. Your soul, your consciousness is here with you in this human life. And it has the list of things that you wanted to experience in this lifetime. And the feelings that you get when you ask yourself the questions, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about my viewpoints that I held up till now or that I felt is true? How do I feel about this? This is your compass. This is where you check in with your soul, with your higher self, with the more developed, the more mature part of yourself. And that is true no matter what. No matter what, I'm just hearing from my guidance system, back in the time, in the days, in Nazi Germany, for instance, where nearly most of the population ran with the propaganda guys, there were few who knew it was wrong and it was wrong for them to run with the others. They did have the same problems to discern and feel for themselves what is right or wrong that we do have now with any topic that we may meet in our daily life. So very, very few went all the way through, they lost their lives, they went into prison and I'm not saying you should be going there and I'm not saying that this is on the agenda for anyone here. I'm just saying, I'm just bringing in another time that for many people is very present through um, history lessons in school, that there was a time where the majority of people just went with whatever narrative was given 
because nearly everyone else look what the, what are the others doing and that's this is where I'm going but some didn't and you may be just the one that doesn't you may be just the one on the verge to understand that whatever it is in your life you need to check in with yourself especially when you say I'm so confused when you are confused sit down and take that time it is too precious, too important not to. The argument of I don't have time does not count. I can tell you it doesn't. Not for me or anyone, but for yourself it doesn't. The moment you face the review of your life, you will understand what I'm saying. But maybe you understand now before you go into that review. Everything is happening in the now, and this is where your power lies, even if you, and especially when you are confused by all of this. Take that confusion as a gift. Understand this is my gift now. Oh, I'm so confused. I'll sit down now, and I stay with that. And even if you can't sit here for hours with that confusion, on and off during the day, take some minutes in of time and just go inside and just sit with your confusion, greet your confusion and then say, this is what I believe. This is what I feel is true. Sometimes people say I feel and when they ask to feel, they don't know what feeling that is. They can't get that because they, they, they're only used to do the head thing. But the more often you sit down and you just tune in and see where does that feel good or not good. Sometimes it feels really horrible. It's like an inner storm in your stomach. Everything goes like this or you feel your heart is contracting, you know, uh, or your stomach is in a knot, you know, this wording that shows you. So sit down and learn about your own body's language, which is your GPS, because it is your connection to your soul, to your soul plan. You came here to experience something. You came not here, not here to live a perfect life because that does not exist. That is an illusion. Look back at your life. Has it been perfect? Anywhere, at any time, maybe for very, very short moments, you felt, oh, this is perfect. And before you knew it was gone, whether it was that holiday and out of that holiday, certainly not all days were perfect. So we are here to have experiences. We may have an experience and say, oh, this is gorgeous, this is wonderful. And then we go into that experience and we feel, oh, this is great. And suddenly we notice that it's fading how we feel for it, about it. And then we say, oh my God, what's wrong with me? I'm suddenly feeling so not good about it anymore. Nothing is wrong with you. It's just that you have gone into that experience and you have been living that experience and you kind of take that off from your list that your your soul has for this life done yeah your conclusion of that experience yeah could be yeah i was happy i really did like it in the beginning i really enjoyed it but then it faded so society will tell you gosh what's wrong with you your parents will tell you your teachers will tell you your managers your friends what's wrong with you you always need something new. So what? There's other people who hang into situ in situations much longer. What's wrong with them? Nothing. It's just their way. Their way to experience life. To go into certain areas of life that they have chosen right now. So life is an experience. When you understand this, there is no right, no wrong. And sometimes you go into an experience and you just choose something and you notice right away, no, 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 it's not right. I don't want to do this. Then don't do it. Get out of it. 
just like you know you go to a to an amusement park and the moment you arrive there whatever it is maybe maybe the noise maybe the people too many or whatever you suddenly feel like oh no i don't want to go there why would you go and pay 80 or 100 euros for a ticket for a whole day to go into that that you don't really want where everything in your body tells you ah or you can do it otherwise and can say, okay, I don't feel good about it, but I may still go and just have that experience. Don't force yourself, but maybe suggest to yourself and say, ah, oh, okay, I just went there and whatever it is, it is okay. If you then go in, you're not constantly criticizing yourself and being disappointed with yourself, that blah, 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 whatever. You just go in and say, okay, I'll see how I get on. It doesn't feel like something I would do now because now that I see what it looks like and the noise and the whatever, many people, whatever it may be, uh, but maybe I'm just here, you know, why wouldn't, my, why should I not? You can do that as well. Or you just say, no, I'm not doing it. You're just going back home. There is always options and there is always choices and you can choose at any stage with any situation, any, every situation is there for the experience and that means you can just look into it and say yes or no at any stage. Yes, it may have implications, yes. But everything we do in life has consequences and implications. Nothing is without. It's just like when you fall into the water, you need to swim. If you don't swim, you're drowning, that's it. And there is no right nor wrong about swimming or not swimming. You decide. So, with the many, 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 many things that are going on at the moment, just pull yourself into a space, a little now time, and just sit with whatever that is. There is no time for that later, I can guarantee you that. There is no later, there is only ever the now. In times that are moving so fast as it is at the moment, everything is more precious even than it was before. That is not true when I say that, but you know what I mean. Because when I make a decision right now, it gives me a brand new and very accelerated experience that may assist my expansion. And while I say that, I'm very aware that expansion in my life and in most other people's lives that I know or I have heard talking about their lives has meant that they have gone through a lot of friction, which means a lot of pain, mental, physical, emotional pain. That happens all the time. So this is the way the earth works. So I go into a situation and it may work easy or may not. We don't know. But within that situation, there is many different opportunities and always choice points everywhere, all the time. Even though it may not look like this. And everybody may tell you, you can't do this. You can't quit. You can't get in. That is not true. In most cases, you can quit. Of course you can. You can always quit. I've done it many times where everybody said that's not possible. It was always. And I didn't need to force it. I just decided for myself, this is what I'm going to do. And it was working. So in every situation, you have these choices but you are not making them because you're so fearful of your own decisions. 
that it may be wrong. Nothing could ever be wrong. You can only make a decision based on the knowledge that you have, on the data that you assess. So when you do that, you did your best. And that's what you do constantly. So if you feel after you made a decision, oh, I should have done it differently, see what you can do with that situation. At least you learned that right after you made the decision, you got new data. Your decision would have been maybe different if you had had the data before, but you didn't. You didn't. It wasn't there. It wasn't in your field. It wasn't known. Not, it, not to you. So what? Forgive yourself. <laughs> if it isn't there, you can't blame yourself. Confusion leads for most people to just moaning, complaining, whinging, crying like a child, feeling helpless. And I don't mean that in a judging way, but I'm just showing you when you do that, look at your children, the children in your environment, when they whinge, moan and cling and throw themselves on the ground, what is changing for them? They still feel miserable. And you can do that, but it is not the solution. It is a path to solution when you sit down and say, okay, right, that does not look good at all. I had no idea, like when I entered this, that this would look like this immediately. What can I do? What can I do? And so with that, you open a new space. You open doors. And options in each door, in each path, in each room that you can enter through opening the doors. And you can choose from there. And maybe it's the problem on this planet that we have too many choices. I know you're going to say to me you don't have them because of regulations. Don't tell me this, because that is not true. Within those limited choices, you still have a whole range of them. You haven't even gone to the limits of it because you don't want to, because you fear so much that resistance may cause you pain, out, being outcast, being looked at, ridiculed, not accepted, not having friends. Da, 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 da. You always have choice. You always have choice. Make that your mantra. I always have choice. I always have choices. And when you're in a difficult situation, sit down with that knowledge and that knowing. Breathe through. What can I do? And sometimes your choice is, I will sit. I will just sit and allow things to unfold. The last thing you want in that situation very often, because you want to take action fast. Oh, the fear of get, getting into painful situations. Sometimes, very often in my life, it has happened that way that I couldn't do immediately or I couldn't immediately take action. But the solution was coming when I was sitting. When I was finally once allowing to drop control of that situation by saying, okay, I'm just letting this go because at this moment in time, I don't know. I have no idea. So be it. That very moment, things started to unravel that big nod of confusion in the background. Sometimes I could feel it because the tension was lifting from me because I let go of control. And sometimes I couldn't. Sometimes the moment I decided to let go, it was nearly as if someone knocked at my door the very moment and gave me exactly what I needed. 
where I would open a book or something, a song would come on or where um, I hear someone talking about something and there it was. So please remember that you always, always, always have choice. And yes, times are tough and challenging. Yes, yes, yes. Because everything is so fast, so much data coming in. But it is my choice what data to look at. I don't look at all the data. I don't go on to all these platforms to inform myself. I go here. What do I want? I want my peace. I want to be in tune with myself. I want to be able to enjoy. I want to be able to laugh. And I laugh a lot about myself. I want to be happy in the situation that I currently am in. Now, don't ever believe that anybody is ever in a perfect situation. No, I have to say it differently. We're all always in a perfect situation. That's the, that's the truth of it. But not in that fairy tale like where everything is cloud seven and the angels are singing and rose petals are flying around. Not in that way. In the last two months, I have experienced the most intense part of my life, I would say. I think it is perfect for my life, my soul plan. But it was not what I would expect for me to come. I had no idea. But when I realized what was happening after first not understanding and struggling with like, what's going on? When I then realized what was going on, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. But it's not perfect in the way that I'm sitting on cloud seven and paradise is happening for me. No, 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 no. Life on Earth is not like they say at the moment. We're working here. We're really, really working. We're working for our own benefit, for our learning, for our soul growth, which is the most precious thing ever. So you always have choice. Your confusion is your gift. When you hear yourself saying, I'm so confused, please pay attention and sit down or calm down or go into nature, walk somewhere where there's nobody else. Put your feet on the ground, bare feet on the ground or hug a tree for a while. And just connect with that tree or with your feet on the ground. Just take it in fully. Take in, I'm alive in that nature space. Or if it is late at night and you can't go out, sit down, do some breathing. I am alive. Say that over and over again, because that's your ticket. It's your ticket for this planet here. That's your ticket. And from there you go. Now guys, I have talked a long time. I think it's the longest video I've ever made. And it wasn't my plan. I hope that the, 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 the video quality is okay because I could see the sun suddenly came in when I started talking, which was unexpected. So, but it's not about, it's not about the video. It's, it's about the message. And when I make these videos, I'm always guided by my, my guidance team, by my personal guidance team. <laughs> now the sun goes, and I can see actually myself again on the screen. So please, please, please understand that we all are here for the purpose of learning, all of us. There's no special purpose of being the such and such and such and such. It's about you, your experience, and learning to understand that it is precious to have these experiences. They're going to make you happy. 
I leave you now and say bye-bye. God bless.